going on guys it's another day in the shop and we got another project for you let's get after it Okay, so today we've got a dump truck we're working on. The hinges for the tailgate are pretty much shot. There was some shoddy work done on them at one point. It is an aluminum bed, so we'll be fixing those for the customer. I'll give you guys a look at this here. Someone's gonna call the cops because they think there's a fire back here, but there's the dump truck. And you can see it smokes more than Bob Marley. <coughs> So, we're gonna get it pulled in. We'll take a look at it and get started. All right, we got her backed in. You can see it looks like there's been a brush fire in here. No worries, that's just from the uh, excessive white smoke pouring out of her. I'm not really sure why it has an aluminum bed. Customer says they're gonna end up switching it over eventually to a steel bed, but I'll give you guys a look here. You can see that's the hinge. And what's happened is it, it should be sitting flat and it's been tipped up like that. I'll give you a better look at the welds. They are real nice. So we'll grab a ladder, get up there and get some eyes on it. All right, let's take a look at what we got here. I don't know how much you can see on camera, but this is ugly this weld you can see the base material very clearly everything this way of the base material it's ugly it looks like somebody tried to weld this together with kibbles and bits we're gonna have to scarf all this off all this off if you look at all this it's just been scabbed on there it kind of looks to me like somebody tried to weld it together with some of that aluminum stick rod, which I've never really been a fan of. It looks like they also repaired it with 3 16 which I think is pretty brave. I think it's a little light. We're basically just gonna have to start over with this base material part. We've gotta get it just, goodness. We've just gotta get it cleaned up. We gotta get all the crap material off of there, clean it up with the grinder, just start scarfing everything off, start over. It's it's ugly so that's where we'll start this does not look like a good idea to me I'm not sure why they would have put a bolt through there that side they used one of those hairpins but this side over here let's just get clean it up and see what we come up with Okay, so this is what the inside looks like. I've cut this on the joint. I'm gonna grab a chisel and a hammer. I'm just gonna peel the whole top of this off. It looks to me like they tried to piece this piece in. So you're creating another corner, which is never good with aluminum. So I'm gonna peel the whole top of this off. I'm actually gonna cut this 
this hinge piece is all one piece but I'm gonna cut down here down here and I'm gonna clean this up I'm gonna take a new piece of quarter inch plate because it's the heaviest I have if I had three eighths I'd use it but it's already gonna be stronger because this is three sixteenths so we're gonna upgrade that to quarter inch we'll box the top in then we'll lay the hinge back down and we'll weld the hinge to the top and we're gonna triple pass everything well, hopefully that'll fix it so just wanted to let you guys know where I'm at and what my plan is So just like is usually the case with dump trucks and trailers, there's way more involved here. So I got this cut off, I had to unbolt those hinges. Once I got this broke free, there was still some material holding that on. Once I got that broke free, the tailgate popped and shifted that way. So either the bed is tweaked on this side, tweaked in, if you look at how much overlap there is here, there's like inch and a half, maybe inch and three quarter. Look how much there is on this side. Hardly any. That's a problem. That hinge is bent out. So both hinges are bent. So for me to fix this right, I gotta pull both hinges off. I'm gonna have to heat them up and bend them back straight. And then on this one, I may have to put a port of power in here, push this back out to where I can mount this where it needs to go. I'm gonna clean this up. I'm gonna box it in. Once I get that boxed in, I've got the hinge down there in the vise. I'm working on tearing that apart. I'm just gonna wait and see how many hours there are into this. I told the customer, he was asking how many hours I thought it would take. I told him five or six hours. When I start getting close to five or six hours, I'm gonna give him a call and I'm gonna let him know what the deal is. What I usually will do is I'll give him two options. I can either weld it back together the best I can and they'll continue to run it the way that it is or it's gonna be a few more hours for me to fix it right just kind of how it goes some customers I wouldn't worry about it but with this one he was he was quizzing me on how many hours I thought it would take and with stuff like this it's always hard to tell them exactly how many hours it really is gonna take we're just gonna do the best we can but to fix it right it's gonna take some time and then there's all sorts of fun stuff going on like using a bolt to hold the pin in instead of using this instead of using a hairpin they used a metric bolt over here so yeah that ain't coming out so i had to snap the bolt off and then i cut the rest off with the zip disc so i got it off pulled the pin out of the hinge so i got it tore apart but i'm probably gonna have to put it in the mill drill a new hole get a hairpin for it. I mean, there's just, there's always more involved with equipment than usual. And when you have a customer that's worried about how much it's gonna cost or what the time is, that tends to complicate things. So anyway, I'm gonna run a fairly tight open corner here, weld the whole thing solid, and then we'll get it to where the hinge can be on here. We want this to be as level as possible. So anyway, that's where we're at. So you can see there are some dandy looking welds here. It doesn't look like whoever welded it up really knew what they were doing. I'm not trying to insult anyone here. I'm just trying to point out that, you know, if you're running a piece of equipment and it's your livelihood, you would think that you would find someone who knows what the crap they're doing so that they could fix it right. Instead of just going to some guy you know that says, oh yeah, I can weld. Because then you end up with this, it ends up breaking, and then you're out of truck because you got to take it to somebody who can fix it and fix it right but it's going to take twice as long now anyway now i'm on a rant but i'm just trying to prove a point here so anyway we'll try to cut this off now we're not going to try we're going to do it we're going to cut this off now
right guys, took the tailgate off, but I want to show you this hinge. You can see the hinge is bent clear away from the tailgate. So it's bent out this way, but it's also tweaked this way, which is pushing the tailgate that way. This one was bent out a little bit as well, which would have pushed it the other way, but this one, I think that may be why that sucker snapped. I think it was under a lot of tension. So it was kind of on a bind. So we're gonna straighten both. I'm gonna pull this one off and then we'll heat them up and straighten them, put them back on. There's, there's just no other way. So the hinge piece up here, you can see it was digging a hole. That's because it was on such a bind. So we'll try to fix that. Now that I got the tailgate off, I can buff this side. I couldn't get to it with the tailgate on, so I had to take it off anyway. But I'm gonna clean that up, and then we're ready to roll the welder over and fit up our piece of plate. I got a piece of, I think it's quarter. It might be 5 16. But I got a piece there, I'm gonna cut a piece of that and put it up there on the top of that box. So, we'll go to that point. All right guys, we got the sinker wave over here. We got our plate. You can see we're gonna weld open corner. We're just gonna center that up. And then you can see there's a little bit of a hellacious gap here. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna try to build that up. I'll just stack a couple beads on there and then I'll grind it down flat stack another one until I can meet this. This is gonna be a little time consuming. Luckily I'm up here in the bed. I can run the pedal, I can feather my heat. It should go fairly smooth, I hope. We'll see. So, let's get after it. I'm gonna be real with you guys. This does not look the greatest, but that's dirty, nasty, crappy base material because it's a dump truck that hauls dirt. So, I'm gonna show you guys what it looks like because I want you to see that you can, sometimes in the real world, you gotta run two or three or whatever crappy passes and burn all the crap out of the base material and it looks like crap. But once you get that done, you can go back with a grinder, clean it up, run a pretty one over the top of it. In this case, we're gonna run a big heavy bead over the top of it. Try to make it look the best we can. Okay, I mean, that's pretty ugly. You know, there's a lot of black in that. So it's burning all the impurities out. You can see it's kind of bellied over and stuff. So it's not real pretty. But I'm gonna take the grinder, I'm gonna knock that smooth and put like a 45 on it and then I'm gonna run a real heavy one over the top of it. These other joints should be fine. But that one, that one was just kind of fun because you had that big gap and I needed to build it up. So I'll hit it with the grinder and then lay a, hopefully a pretty one over the top of it. Okay, we hit that with the grinder. You can see that looks a lot better. So now I'm going to run a heavy one over the top of that and then we'll continue to weld these out.
you guys. Got this pretty much welded out now. Pretty happy with it so far. You can see there's a little bit of black and stuff. I had to hit a pinhole there. I'll clean that up. For the most part, it's turned out pretty good. You can see I got the weld inspectors up here. Say hi. Hi. <laughs> Oh, really? All right, so the next step is going to be to heat up the hinges and bend them back straight. And then I got to bolt them back to the tailgate and hang the tailgate and see where everything's going to line up. I'll pin the hinges on the tailgate and then I'll set it on here and see where it hits. I'm hoping that we'll be able to shift it that way far enough that it's not going to be hanging out this edge. That's the plan. Let's do it. It's time for today's Super Cool Tool. Alright, so for today's Super Cool Tool, I want to talk about this half inch impact. This may not technically be a fabrication tool, but it's something I have to use all the time. It's something that was necessary for me to use to take the tailgate apart take the hinges off you know it may not necessarily be a fabrication tool but to run a fab shop you have to have certain tools and this is definitely one of them and it makes my life easier so let's talk a little bit about it this one here is an Ingersoll Rand it's the 2235 titanium model it's lighter because it's titanium I'll put the specs for this impact up on the screen so that you guys can see it I'll tell you what, this one gets after it. I don't know that I've ever had anything this wouldn't break loose. I like the way it works. So you've got speeds here on the back. This dial has one, two, three. So there's three settings. I really like the way you switch from forward to reverse. It's a push button, which is extremely handy. It's fast and you don't you don't bump it that's one of the things I like about having those back there you don't bump it because sometimes they're here or here and you don't ever bump it so that's one of the things that I like it doesn't use a whole lot of air it's pretty efficient I did put the rubber cover over it and I have dropped it one time I actually dropped it today off the dump truck so that's gonna be about it for our impact if you are interested in this model, check it out. I, th I think I bought mine off Amazon. This one was a little bit more expensive, but I'll tell you what, it's been, it's been a great tool. I haven't had one issue with it. And like I said, it, it gets after it. So if you don't have an impact, I would recommend getting one, especially if you're in fabrication and you do mechanicing, stuff like that. It just makes your life a lot easier. So check them out, get one in your arsenal, and that's gonna wrap up our super cool tool. We'll get back to the project. This thing is freaking awesome. Okay, I wanna show you guys just how bad this one is. You see the angle on that? I mean, it's, and it's twisted too. It's not just bent this way, it's also bent this way so we've got our work cut out for us on this one it's bad so the way I like to do this is I'll go to where it looks like the bend starts 
and I'll have that right on the edge of my vise. That way the vise will help keep what's already straight, straight. And then I can smack it right on the corner of where it looks like the band is. Alright, quick update. Did get this one bent back straight and this one as well. I busted the pin getting it out. There's another quality job here. Usually when I make a pin I cut a round collar with a hole in it, slide it past the end of the pin and then weld the outside. That way you don't have weld on the inside of the hinge doing this chewing it up all the time like I said customer doesn't want to spend too much money so I'm just gonna buff this off weld it back on slap it back in that's where we're at I'm gonna work on getting that pin dressed up we'll let these cool for a minute before we slap them back on then we're ready to hang the tailgate again see how it goes Okay, so I got that first pass done. It wasn't great, pretty dirty, just like I expected. This piece here is pretty nasty. Base metal's clean, but this one, this one's pretty nasty. So, we still gotta run this one. And again, I'm gonna triple pass, triple pass, and then triple pass. Now, the reason that this is offset is because the bed is bent. And I got it back pretty close. I mean, this is, way better than it was and if you look at the outside it's also way better than it was you can see how straight the hinge is now so I think it's gonna be ten times better than it was I'm gonna triple pass under here and then I'll have to pull forward and lift the tailgate up so I can get this back one but I just want to try to get this welded out and done tonight but we'll see what happens. I'm gonna repair this crack while I'm at it. All right, that's where we're at.
All right, guys. We got the inside pretty much all welded out. It's not the best, but I don't think it's the worst either. So I think it's gonna work. It's 10 times better than it was before. Tailgate's still a little offset, but it's just gonna have to be that way because I can't, I can't fix that. So we'll get this last joint welded out right here. And then I gotta pull it forward, lift the tailgate, get that last one done on the back side, and then that'll do it. All right, guys, we got this wrapped up. And then we just got that one done right there. So, it's gonna wrap this one up. Appreciate you guys watching. Hope you guys like, subscribe, and share. We'll see you on the next one. going on guys we're out here tonight doing a little vehicle maintenance had to change the oil in the trucks and working on the electrical so I'll show you guys where I'm at so we got the conduit ran you see we got those two offsets done comes across here so this one right here it's gonna come over and go up over there but the other leg had to do another offset there comes over and drops into here so I don't have the wire pulled yet but I do have the outlet in and it's partially hooked up but that's kind of where we're at it's gonna be nice it's gonna be nice having another welder outlet over there too because then I can take stuff outside and if I want to run the plasma or air arc or anything like that I'll have an outlet right there by the door and I'll be able to blow all those sparks out in the gravel not in here in the shop so I just wanted to give you guys an update where we're at with the power we haven't started on the air yet I think I'm gonna get all the electrical done I'm already I'm already at it so I might as well so just wanted to give you guys an update Say, say super cool tool. Yeah. Hey, now look at me. Look at me right here. Woo hoo hoo. All right. And I got to pee. I'm about to piss myself. Go pee pee. <laughs>